Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous, and I am back today with another episode of r slash anti-MLM. Now this first one is Young Living and Sensi Huns Collide. Help! My upline and I are at a vendor event, and we unfortunately are next to Sensi. The petrochemical is unbearable. We have stuffed peppermint in our nose and drinking Ningxia red drink like it's our job. What else can we do? We don't have electricity at our booth, requested but not granted. So our three diffusers are display only. We have sprayed thieves three times. Can you get a little generator? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's really funny because it just kind of feels like they're getting a taste of their own medicine. Like the overpowering smells that no one asked for. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, and in one sense, I think drinking your red drink or whatever, like your job is is basically kind of is a little bit. Um, but isn't that, is it, are they thinking like being near the quote unquote petrochemical? is going to like kill their immune system or something isn't that what the red drink is for what is the red drink for i don't know y'all are just being so dumb like <laughs> this is the battle of the huns and it's pretty funny <laughs> also is that vendor event for small businesses i sure hope not came home to my wife being given a presentation my wife went for a jog with a mom friend of hers she returned home to tell me about all the money she was making working from home I asked what she was doing to make the money, and my wife said she didn't say. She said she'd have to show me a presentation. Oh, that's a pyramid scheme, I tell her. She's involved in a pyramid scheme. My wife is not convinced and says she'll listen to the presentation and go from there. I give her strict instructions to put zero money down on anything until we've googled the company. So I returned home yesterday to discover the presentation in full swing. I decided to leave them to it as I didn't want to be rude to my wife's friend, but I can't stay quiet on these scams, so I decide to head upstairs. My wife comes upstairs and tells me it's about a utility provider savings scheme, and would I come talk to her to see if she can save us money. So I go and listen. It's for Utilities Warehouse. I also got the presentation link, you're welcome, and I'm told she wants to recruit my wife to sell this crap. Highlights. The training day costs 200 pounds, but 100 pounds if you're already a customer of Utility Warehouse. You get paid directly when someone pays their energy bill. They also claim they'll install LED bulbs in your house to bring the energy bill down, so they're reducing the amount their recruiters are paid. They keep touting their which customer satisfaction score. Doesn't take a genius to work out that if the customers are also selling the product, then they're going to inflate the score. She asked if I'd also be interested in selling this. There's no way on earth, was my response. She finally got the hint when, after telling her this sounded awfully like an MLM, which she refuted, I walked her through the payment structure. So, if my wife recruits someone, she gets a percentage of the bill, correct? Yes. And you get a percentage as well as the person who recruited her? Yes. And the person that recruited you gets a percentage? Yes. So, if I put that payment structure into a shape, it would be, what, like a big triangle? She left my house shortly after that. <laughs> Good on you. That is, that is, I just, I like it. I like it. I love how you're like, you know what, you can do your presentation, but you're doing a pyramid scheme. I'm also concerned, like, how do you all do utility? There's, a, there's utility pyramid schemes now? Like, <laughs> what? I didn't know that that was a thing. I hope that's not a thing here in the US. That's quite frankly terrifying. How MLM brainwashing stole my aunt and tore apart all of my extended family. My dad's extensive side of the family has always been close and loving and supportive, but also very practical. My grandpa was an engineer and very careful with his money, making sure when he and my grandma had to move into assisted living, Funds would be easy to handle, and inheritance was all planned out for when they passed. He didn't plan for MLMs, though. 
My aunt, who has a master's in botanical research, ironically, would do anything for her family. She would drive hours to see my boring piano recital, hike through tick and mosquito infested backwaters of Minnesota to see a meteor shower with her kids, and stay up all night with my sick brother so my pregnant mom could get some sleep. So of course, when she heard about the miracle panacea of Relive, similar to Herbalife, she had to share it with everyone. It could cure my sister's scoliosis, my brother's hay fever, my adult acne, my grandparents' old age, and even cancer. But Big Pharma doesn't want you to know that, so you can't find written records, only testimonies at the conferences. She genuinely believes all of it and is so emotionally invested in family that they preyed on her kindness and turned her into an Auntie Hun drone. She hounded her three siblings about this amazing line of nutritional shakes and couldn't understand why they wouldn't trust her. It got to where my mom was afraid to engage her in conversation and accidentally let something slip about general health and well-being that she could turn into a pitch. To show how bad it got, my parents are very healthy and fit, but because of early arthritis, my mom needed her knee replaced, which is huge. Like, a week in the hospital and months of rehab and recovery. She and my dad had to call around all the relatives and make sure we all hid from my aunt that this surgery was happening. I'm also very allergic to soy, of which three of the first four ingredients in all those shakes are soy. She knows this, but our soy is different. It's the purest form and grown from our private farms in the best soil. Nobody is allergic to it. Dude, I could have soy from the Garden of Eden and I'd be covered head to toe in hives. What happened to her master's degree? My grandparents passed within a year of each other, and when my dad and his siblings met up to settle the inheritance funds, it nearly ended up in court. I don't know all the details, but now my two uncles refuse to speak to my aunt, and my dad has an even more fragile relationship with her. All four of them had access in some way to my grandparents' money after they moved into assisted living, but had signed an agreement to keep paperwork of every single purchase made, taking my grandma for a haircut, wedding gifts for grandkids, etc. It turns out my aunt had been secretly using thousands and thousands of dollars of my grandparents' money to meet her relive sell goals and even buy products for her own use. It also turns out because somehow relive wasn't making her rich and selling itself, she joined another MLM, all about financial planning and leadership, whatever that means. Yeah, that'll fix it all for you. My cousin said he found boxes and boxes in her garage full of MLM products, most likely purchased just to meet goals. Many long phone calls and meetings were held between the relatives, of which I don't know exactly what happened. The end result was that she got none of her inheritance because she spent it all and then some on MLM garbage and she still won't see what a trap they are. I remember one day before I was about to take a long cabin trip up north with my cousins, sitting in their kitchen before leaving. She had a big conference phone call on speaker with relived testimonies, probably hoping I'd hear and convert, and all I could think about was how creepy and cult-like they sounded, because they basically are. I have two aunts, the real human aunt who caught snakes and frogs with me, and then the relive one that took over her body like men in black alien. She can't even babysit her own grandkids because my cousins are afraid she'll feed them that crap. Family gatherings and reunions don't have the same cozy, loving atmosphere anymore. I'm really sorry to hear that that happened with your aunt and it's so frustrating because a lot of these MLMs really do, they use that mentality that a lot of people get into cults with, basically. It starts with like, we have the thing, we have that key that you're looking for, that you need, you can't live without, we found it. And then they're like, well, yeah, you have to be in our community and you're one of us. And so they make you believe all this stuff. And then even when the world is crumbling around you and you have so much debt because you're trying to <laughs> somehow make this lie a reality, they are forcing you to keep up appearances and play along because otherwise you're not part of the group anymore. And she's already alienated herself from her family and I'm so sorry that you feel that way and like having lost your grandparents and then kind of like losing who your aunt was and just losing that feeling of family. I'm so sorry that really 
is terrible and I can relate um, to that feeling as well, not quite in the same way, but I'm so sorry that you have to deal with that and this is why we make these kind of videos. Um, Redditors, other YouTubers, all these people who have done all this anti-MLM stuff, it's not entirely about just like making fun of people being stupid. Um, while there are some things that are just so ridiculous, it's, it's funny, but this is why. Because this has a real impact on people. This is really ruining people's lives. This person ran through their inheritance and then took advantage of their parents' money, took more than their inheritance share, alienated themselves from their entire family, and is now part of two schemes that are taking her money, taking her away from her family. And it's just, it's horrible all for these people to pretend they have it all and for people at the top to make money. And that is the thing that is wrong with M MLMs. It's not like, oh no, you're not supporting small business people or oh, you're not supporting women or eh. No, I don't support this bullcrap that takes this person's aunt away from them and so many stories just like it. So to end on a much lighter note, here is this lovely image. Um, Rodan Fields headshot party. Hashtag makeup, hashtag beautiful, hashtag good times, hashtag online shopping, hashtag friendship, hashtag passion, hashtag influencer, hashtag events, hashtag photographer, hashtag marketing, hashtag makeup artist, hashtag friends. 2,438 likes. Is this for real, guys? We're joking, right? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you just, like, put on all the filters and, like, just randomly jacked up, like, <laughs> the little, little slidey bar things at random and you're just like, <laughs> here you go, internet. <laughs> what? Please tell me that this is a joke. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Real quick, I'd like to thank my patrons on the screen. You should see my face palmers and my crazy Ks. <laughs> thank you all so much for being amazing and supporting me in that way. If you would like to become a patron or if you want to send in a story or something like that uh, to possibly be included in a n upcoming video in the future sometime eventually <laughs> uh, all that information is in the description box now really quick I would like to tell you I would like to post uh, some special videos for you guys all along the theme of maybe spooky scary Halloween kind of things uh, so be looking forward to that and I'll talk to you in my next video bye <laughs>